Hi, I'm Kathy Browning and welcome to my New Zealand exhibition. I have spent 32 days in New Zealand on the South and North Islands. After taking about 15,000 photographs, I spent a year looking at and heavily editing my photographs while completing a variety of ways to visually tell photographic stories of my New Zealand research. I create photographic stories by allowing the experience to speak to me. I put together photography exhibitions by collecting large amounts of photographs, intensively editing while comparing and contrasting. Each of the photographs tells a visual story. As I continuously edited my photographs for months, while making files and folders, I asked myself, what was my experience of New Zealand? How can I represent this experience so that it has the feeling of what each inspiring photograph had when I took the shot? It is a reliving and recreating of experience while working with specialty silver papers to photographically tell the stories. The 14 limited edition color archival quality G Clay photographic prints are the result of my amazing New Zealand experience. Flag. Flag was shot at the top of Lion's Rock, which is an eroded core of an ancient volcano at Piha on the North Island. The black iron sand beaches can be seen below. Allen's Beach. I walked up the sand dunes from Sandfly Beach, which is near Dunedin, on the South Island. In the foreground are the lush rolling hills of the Otago Peninsula. There is a kilometer long spit of fine white sand that separates Hooper's Inlet from the Pacific Ocean. Dock. Dock was photographed in Jackson Bay, which is near Haast in the South Island. Ghostly Waterfall. There are stunning Kerry Kerry Falls south of Piha on the North Island. I love the way the ghosts were emerging out of the waterfall. I let New Zealand tell me what photographs needed to be taken, and my photographic eye knew when to take the photograph from my years of experience as a photographic artist. While my photography is slow and meticulous, I also shoot a lot each day until the camera feels like a prosthetic device on my face, an extension of my body. It is like my eyes blinking, except that I have a photographic digital record. My feet are firmly planted in the earth while listening intently to my aesthetic self, which has been developed over a long time, while I sensitively know the photographic moment when shooting. The art is still in the photographic moment, as I know when I have a really great photograph at the time.